Um, without further ado, lads, I'm going to hand it over to Denise here, who's got a few words to say on our, on our, on the fact that we're celebrating 130 years. Can I just get a round of applause for first of all, the fact that we've been here for 130 years. Yeah. And also, all together, I think, wow. So I just want to welcome everybody here to the 130th anniversary of our club, Wellington Hub Valley Gaelic Football and Hurling Association. For anyone that doesn't know me, I'm the president of the club, Denise Durkin. I'd like to welcome a number of guests tonight, Ambassador Peter Ryan and his wife Teresa, members of the Hub Valley Wellington Irish and Capity Irish Societies, our honorary patron of the club, Anne O'Carroll, as well as any past and present players of the club. And of course, the Christchurch lads that came up to play out there today. <laughs> Just a couple of thank yous. Uh, special thanks to the Hub Valley Irish Society, especially the women in the kitchen, Sonia, Lynn and Shirley, who's put on some spread for us here today. <laughs> some of them here tonight. As president of the club, I'm very proud of what it has achieved. We've won a number of New Zealand championships and Fesh Gaelic Games, hosted countless competitions here in Wellington, participated in a number of Australasian tournaments and had past and present members represent us in World Games through the years. When I look around the room, I see many people who have helped to make our club what it is today. And we will shortly hear a few words from past members who were also part of paving the way for us as a club. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for your contribution. I'm probably most proud of the opportunity by the opportunity the club has provided for all the Irish being so far from home and allowing them to play and watch the sport we all love over the years. Also for introducing the sport to our Kiwi friends. Our club provides us many things. A home from home, a safe and enjoyable environment for our players, coaches and club members as a whole. It creates lifelong friendships, sometimes even marriages. But, mo <laughs> but most importantly, it's about having a place it's about having a place where we can reconnect with our Irish community and by playing the sport we all love. So before I hand over to Davy to get the celebrations kicked off, on behalf of the club, I'd like to propose a toast. A toast to everyone that's ever contributed to our club over the last 130 years, but also to the next 130. Yeah. 